obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will investigate solar steel 3D CFD simulation. In general, the main mechanism used in desalination plants is to evaporate the salt water and then to distill the water vapor. Due to the high cost of this process, it has always been tried to provide the energy needed for this process at the lowest possible cost. One of the best methods that has received a lot of attention in the recent years is the use of solar energy to supply the energy needed for this process. And in this context, one of the most used devices is solar steel. The present study investigates the performance of a solar steel thermal desalination unit. The present model consists of a smaller chamber with a sloping glass surface at the top. The solar heat passes through the glass to the surface of the water in the closure and causes the surface evaporation. The resulting vapor impacts the cold glass surface and undergoes a distillation process. Pure water from hot vapor distillation moves down the slope of the glass plate and discharges as pure water. The present model is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software. The geometry consists of a sloping glass surface at the top and a horizontal water plate at the bottom. A structured mesh was performed using ANSYS meshing software and the total element number is equal to 500,000. In the scaling part, you are able to change the mesh dimension based on your meshing software geometry you've used. For example, you've used uh, the meter dimensions for your mesh. You can go ahead and change the scaling factors to meters. Or you can change it into whatever units you want. For example, you can change it into feet, to inches, and so on. After double clicking on the viscose, you will see that a new window will appear showing you different viscose model. In this project, laminar viscose model is chosen since our flow in our computational model does not have high velocities. After double clicking on the species model, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you will see that the species transport model is activated. In the options section, you will see that the diffusion energy source and thermal diffusion are enabled. If the diffusion energy source is enabled, the software will include the effects of enthalpy transfer due to species diffusion in the energy equation. And enabling thermal diffusion will cause heavy molecules to diffuse less rapidly and light molecules to diffuse more rapidly towards heated surface. In the mixture property section, by clicking on edit button, you will be able to change the material and species used in this mixture template. A new window will appear showing you that the heat flux for this fault is set to be zero, which means that the, this boundary is set to be adiabatic fault. After clicking on edit, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, you will see that in, under wall motion section, the stationary wall boundary condition is selected for this boundary. By clicking on thermal tab, after clicking on edit, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, you will see that in, under wall motion section, the stationary wall boundary condition is selected for this boundary. By clicking on thermal tab, after clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear, and you can choose between two methods of initialization, hybrid initialization and standard. In the standard method, you will be able to choose and set the value for different parameters of the flow field based on your idea or actually you can choose from the compute from drop down list. These values refers to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation process. You can go ahead and choose the all zones so that the software will automatically calculate the value averaging from all the zones. By clicking on the volume rendering button, a window will appear asking you whether you want to create a 3D contour. By accepting that window, a new box will appear. In the appeared box, in the domain section, you select the all domain and in, for the variable, you select the pressure. By applying this box, the 3D pressure contour will be shown. 
just like the previous step by changing the density to water mass fraction we will be able to see water mass fraction 3D contour Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at